Good evening, uh, YouTube friends. So I'm getting ready to go live. I just had wanted to come out and show you all some of my, uh, a lot of my purple that I've been doing. I've been doing up a lot of purple uh, wreaths. So I have different ones here. Um, I just finished this one last night. This is a nice decorated wreath here. It says, happiness is homemade. And this is one of them here, of my wreaths that I did up. I finished this one last night. So a lot of stuff that I have over here is purple. And, um... What I did was I used the purple um, spools here that I got from out of uh, Christmas tree shop. They were a dollar. So I had did up a lot of different things in purple. And it came out very pretty. So I had some different um, color wreaths here. Well, not color wreaths, but they're all purple. But they're, they're different, different ones, different designs. And I do keep them in plastic if you want to. Uh, know how to keep your wreaths fresh. Um, I went to the dollar store. You can get those gift bags. I believe you get um, two gift bags in a pack for $1.25. Um, I use these here and then I just place my wreath back in there so they'll stay fresh, especially when I do pop-up shops and stuff like that. And when I go out to sell my baskets and stuff, I make sure I keep my wreaths and everything fresh and neat so that they won't, you don't have to keep redoing them. So this one here is another beautiful wreath that I did up. Okay. This is another one. It's a cute purple one. Here, I'm going to put something inside of it too. Maybe like the word hope or joy or something on there. But yeah, I've been keeping them fresh. And um, the bags, that's another way that you can uh, keep your wreaths and everything fresh is to keep them in bags and then I tie them up. And when I go out to like pop up shops, all I have to do is just take them out the bag and hang them up, and then I put them right back into the bag so that they can stay fresh. I tie them up. There's another one here. So I, all of these that I'm showing you right now are all purple, but they're different designs of purple, different ways of purple here. Okay. This is another purple one, too, that I did up. I think this material is so pretty and it makes it look nice all you have to do is just take your hand and kind of fluff the um the reef out but yeah they keep them just looking fresh in there that one says um we are family and then this one too, you can set it up. This one is a shape like a heart. So that's a heart one. Yep, and I just take them and I just place them and I put all of them right back into um, the bag just like this and just tie them. I got about five of them. I'll show you a couple more I have over here. But yeah, I just I wanted to show you some of my purple that I've been doing, I've been coming up with different ideas to work with my uh, purple wreaths that I have. And I've just been doing up different type of wreaths. This is another one too, I did up. And this is another purple one. So all of them are purple, but they're just different ones. All you gotta do is just take your hand and kind of feather them out, but they stay fresh. And when you put them like in a plastic bag or so, they will stay fresh so they won't be getting all mushed up and stuff like that or getting frizzy. If you keep them in a bag, they'll stay good. And all I do is just take my hand and kind of go around it. This is another one that I did, and this says family. So this one is a family one. Family wreath. Oh, I'm going to show you one more. Hold on.
I have one more here. So I got about, let's see if the light comes out. So I got about five of these uh, reeds that I have done up. Um, and I did them in different ways. All of them are not the same. They're the same color, but uh, different type of sayings on them. So some of them just plain. But yeah, this is another one too. And, and like I said, it, to keep them fresh, just make sure you keep them in a, some type of clear bag. I got these clear bags from um, the Dollar Tree. You get two in a pack for a dollar. So I just tie them up and I keep them. So when I do my pop-up shops and things like that, they'll be nice and fresh. I don't have to... Uh, keep redoing them over and all of that. They'll stay nice and fresh as you can see This is another one too that I did up. I'm gonna put some more on there. These are my smaller uh, ones. Yeah, these are just some nice purple ones that I um, Done up. We know that the holidays are coming up. People may want these colors even after the holidays These will be nice ones to just put decorating on your house. That's this one is a nice one. That one is a nice one. All of them are nice. I did up different ones. Yeah, and like I said, I just wanted to show you all. Uh, normally, these smaller ones, I sell these for like $35. Uh, my bigger ones go for $40. So they're a bigger size one. And then all I do is just, like I said, just take um, clear bags that I have here. And I just place them right back into the bag so that they can stay fresh. Um, and when I, like I said, do pop-up shops and when I do different type of events, I don't have to um, worry about re doing the reeds over. All I got to do is just pull them out a little bit, but you don't have to, um, they won't get frizzy or nothing like that or getting dust and all that on them. They'll stay nice and fresh. Just keep them right in the bag. All I do is just take uh, one of my twist ties here and, and I just um, tie it up and then I place them in my storage. Uh, closet which is behind me I place it back here and I just be prepared but that is another idea that you can do when you're working with reeves um, not just this reef here but any any type of reeves that you have or stuff that you want to keep uh, fresh it's best to keep them in bags like this and all yeah I've been doing this for a while and like I said they come out very nice people are always complimenting them um, yeah so I'm working on more of these and like I said I have a lot of purple over here so I'm doing up a lot of stuff with my purple because um, I have a whole bunch of them like 10 or 15 rolls of these um, I'm soon going to be doing some toot toots the little toot toots that um, us ladies wear and sometimes the, um, the younger generation wear too um, those two this is a great material that you can use for that but this material is very good I wish they had other colors I could get. I will be blending some of my other um, reeds with different colors, like maybe purple and white, purple and black, purple, black and white, or purple, silver and white. You can add more to it. Um, yeah, but these are just some of the ones that I wanted to come out today and show you that's already finished. And yeah, and I just I wanted to um, tell you all that when you're doing your pop-up shop, make sure that um, to keep your reeds nice just go right to the Dollar Tree and get you some of these clear bags. I'll come back on on the other one. I can't find one right now, but I'll come back on and show you all. It's the bags that come. They're clear. They come with two in a pack, and you can just take those and use those for um, wrapping up gifts like this, you know, wrapping up the, um, the wreaths, and it will keep them nice and tight and fresh, and uh, it will keep you know them from getting all frizzy and everything all you got to do is just pull them out once you take them out the bag but they'll stay nice and fresh and you keep them like that for a while i had these in there now probably about a month or two and they still look real nice so i'm just working on new ones but this is the decorated reef i was working on last night and this one is finished and this is going for 35 dollars i'm just doing up different ones i got to finish uh lining this up in the middle of it but as you can see this is how it looks 